seriously? Actually... toes raised. You'll go even faster that way. Got it, coach! Phew. I did a lot of research on this, so I'm glad to see it's actually working. I mean, now that I've agreed to coach them, I gotta do a good job, right? I even used the school library for the first time to put together a training routine. I gotta say, though, I'm amazed how much their times have improved just from correcting their form. Elementary school kids really learn fast, don't you think? Oh, I don't know about that. But hearing you say so does make me feel like I can do anything. Oh, these kids really give it their all. Oh! Okay, one more round. Hey, hold on a second. You're all supposed to be on break right now. It's important to take time to get good rest. It's your age need to be careful not to overdo it. You could get really hurt. Yeah, but there's no time for that. We can keep going. Come on, we gotta show our fighting spirit. Mm, I suppose we do only have so many days to train here. I don't know. What do you think? Should I change the training routine? Maybe they should be running more. Oh. You know what? You're right. I am the one who did all the research on how to avoid straining yourself. All right, listen up. I'm your coach now, so you stop running when I tell you to stop. That's a promise you've got to keep. But in return, I'll make sure you get faster than you've ever been. How does that sound? Think you can keep that promise? Plenty coach, you're on fire. What did you just call me? All right, those who agree to the terms, go back to your break. Okay. Sometimes I can't tell if they're actually listening to me or not. 
This kind of feels good, doesn't it? Like some coming of age story. So, um, thanks for giving your input earlier. Honestly, if I was on my own, I would have let them keep running. I'm glad I asked you to coach with me. It means a lot having you here. Oh, by the way, the kids seem like they want to run with you. You think you could do just one lap? It'd be setting a good example for them. Senpai? Oh, um... I was just cleaning my room. Sorry, was it too loud? Okay then, good night. <sighs> um, Senpai? Actually, there is something I'd like to talk about. Will you come in? Sorry it's so messy in here. This won't take long. I actually have a favor to ask of you. You see, I have a pet hamster. I got him when I was living with my mom, and he's been with me ever since, so I decided to bring him here. If, for some reason, I don't make it back here in the future, then this little guy will be all alone. So... Could you help look after him if that happens? Of course. I have you guys with me, so I won't go down easily. But you never know, right? It was the same with my mom. Everything happened so suddenly. So please, I can even provide a little something as thanks. I'll give you all my allowance and the rest of my New Year's money. And I'll give you all the comics here, plus whatever else you want. Okay, that works for me. Well, aren't you the lucky one? But when that happens, you better listen to him, okay? Uh, his name... It's... Hamburger. You think so? Mom used to always laugh about it. The night he came home with me, we had hamburgers for dinner, so that's why. Anyways, thank you so much. That's a big relief. There's not much time left now. 
Sorry again for the disturbance. Could you apologize to everyone else for me? It's getting late, so I'm going to bed soon. Um, actually, can I ask you one more thing? Everyone in this dorm is so kind. They always come up to me for a casual chat, and they treat me like a normal person. Sure, there were plenty of adults who showed concern for me, but I feel like the people here are a little different. And you came to check in on me again today. But why? Why does everyone here care about what happens to me? A team. I only just joined, but you already think of me as one of your own? I guess that was a weird question, wasn't it? Sorry, don't mind me. But maybe I should have asked sooner. I don't know if I'll be able to fully repay you for your kindness, but I'll do my best. Okay then, good night. <sighs> Senpai, I'm really glad you came. Thank you, and I'm sorry. I won't let you down. Sorry, but I need your advice again. Let's meet up after art club like we did the other day. Um, don't tell anyone else about this, okay? I'm still torn on studying abroad. My dad's trying to make all my decisions for me. He chose the school I'd go to, the dorm I'd live in. He even bought my plane ticket already. And I haven't actually agreed to go through with it yet, either. He's been like this ever since we argued about the art club. It's like he's suddenly trying to be more understanding. It's weird. Well, being a doctor is something I think about a lot. If I do end up studying abroad now and become an artist, there's no turning back, is there? then I could never be a doctor. My teachers, my friends, and especially you. Everyone's been so supportive. And I know what you must be thinking. A chance to study abroad? What an opportunity. I'm sorry, it seems like all I ever do is complain to you. But I always feel a lot better after talking to you, so thanks. I don't even know what I really want to do. In times like this, I turn to the heavens. I have to head to the bookstore. You can go on without me. 
I'm buying a fortune-telling book and reading the whole thing in one night. Should we wrap up for the night? This is the first time we've met during the day. Let's have a chat while the opportunity presents itself. That doesn't concern me. Now, let's be off. I understand one of my group has caused you some trouble. Is she in good health? It must be difficult looking after her. After all, you likely can't rein her in for very long. Or could it be you've already killed her? I see. For now. Then, I assume her symptoms have arisen. Considering Kirijo's resourcefulness, you would have had access to the suppressants as well. If you already know about the suppressants, that simplifies things. Can you imagine it? A Persona user murdered by their other half. Such is the fate of a Persona that has gone berserk. As you have already seen for yourself. This power of ours is not meant to be wielded by just anyone. That holds true even for those who were awakened by force. It comes at a great cost, and we can only harness it by walking the line between life and death. This power makes us who we are. And yet, you hold the ability to wield so many. The Dark Hour has graced you with its favor, almost unjustly so from our perspective. Now, I ask you, 
don't you think it'd be a shame for you to lose such a special power? You stubbornly cling to that sentiment. Do you have no intention of understanding anything? Choosing to turn a blind eye towards your own power, to the grief of the fallen, the unchosen, the unloved. Such apathy, such insolence. You trample upon everything we stand for. And worst of all, your rejection of my... You tread upon your gifts like dirt, and in doing so, reveal your own arrogance. It disgusts me. I see now that nothing will change your mind. If our beliefs are at odds with each other, and neither side is willing to concede, then a battle is unavoidable. Our final confrontation will come in our own time. You have been blessed with a power greater than any other, and yet you don't see its true value. <sighs> Such a shame. Quite make it, huh? According to the news, a typhoon just hit. Apparently, it's the biggest one on record. It's moving slowly, too, so it'll be gloomy for a while. Yeah, thanks to that, the school festival got canned. Well, less work for us in the end, I guess. Still sucks that we'll be stuck indoors for vacation, though. So, what you gonna do over break? Seriously? Dude, you're killing me here. What about you, Fuka? Me? The only thing I plan to do is go to the movies. Ooh, a movie? Do you have a date? It's not like that. I'm going with Natsuki-chan. We actually talk about movies all the time. But with this typhoon... I don't know if we'll make it. How about you, Yukatan? Still gonna have practice? Hmm? I don't know. The archery range is outside, so it's most likely canceled until the storm blows over. Same here. This stupid typhoon is gonna mess up my training. You gotta be but, right, Kurijo Senpai? I'm not sure yet. Why are you so curious about our business, Iori? Oh, me? Well, I'd be happy to tell you about my plans. I suspect that you will be visiting Chidori-san. Although she is in stable condition now, we still can't release her. Man, Aichan, you must be psychic! And you know what? She even told me she wants me to come. I can't believe she said that. So I figured I should probably check up on her. You know, with the storm and all. Mm-hmm. What's with him? Is he all excited? Um, well... You don't know either, huh? Um... Oh, Amada-kun! What are your plans during the break? Oh, I'm not really doing anything in particular. Come on, you gotta be doing something. Oh, I'll probably go visit the shrine. Dude, you're a kid, not an old man. I always go to pray, though. I guess you could say, I have a wish I want granted. <sighs> anyway, I'm going back to my room. I've got a lot of homework to do. Oh, okay. Just holler if you get stuck, yeah?
have a suggestion. By the way, been waiting for you. It's been quite some time since I last summoned you in your dreams. Several seasons have come and gone since I first offered you my assistance. Now then, your persona abilities, have you been using them wisely? To be direct, I sense a great catastrophe in your future. But it would be a pity to lose one with such potential as yourself. Therefore, please allow me to provide you with a new form of assistance. I will unlock further secrets of fusion previously unrevealed to you. I am certain that you will find this to be of great benefit. But for now, you must be tired. Please, rest easy. Until we meet again, farewell.
My bad. Thanks. I got a favor to ask you. Give this to Kirijo. Preferably while you're at school. I haven't suddenly decided to go back to school or anything. That's a form to extend my leave of absence. Don't make much sense to be in an extracurricular squad if I get expelled. But I'll drop it if I can stay absent from school. Going myself would be more of a pain than it's worth. Plus, it seems like Kirijo depends on you. It should be pretty easy to hand it off if you do it at school. I'll pay you back for this. So help me out, alright? Hmm. So you'll do it? No questions asked? <laughs> I owe ya. Huh. I don't see you two together very often. What are you guys doing back here in the middle of the day? Uh, that envelope. <laughs> I'm guessing that's not the form for returning to school. <laughs> hey, if Shinji keeps this up, you'll be his classmates next year. <laughs> you and Junpei should practice addressing him casually. In fact, go ahead and boss him around a bit. I'd rather get expelled. We're gonna finish the battle this year. I've got no reason to stay enrolled after that. <sighs> Shinji! You know exactly how concerned Mitsuru is about you. You know what this form means to her, don't you? Don't tell me you forgot your promise. <laughs> Sorry. Didn't want to drag you into my problems, but... Still counting on you for that. I've never seen Shinji ask someone else for help with his own problems before. He'd never say it out loud. But I think he really trusts you. <laughs> Even just being able to stand a guy that antisocial is an accomplishment. I think he actually likes the fact that you don't back down from anyone. I'm not gonna nag Shinji about going back to school anymore. Just do what you think is best. I'll leave it to you. Oh. Uh -huh.